Yadzahaya's Christine Zachary Diome expands on the MCK full-paged response in the Montreal Gazette to a series of articles that appeared in the La Presse newspaper questioning whether the island of Montreal is situated on unceded Mohawk territory. I don't know if you've noticed in the past, but every time Mayor Kader gets up and welcomes people to conferences, he says, I want to welcome you if there's no Mohawk in the room. Generally, I have done welcomings. But he'll get up and he'll say, I want to welcome you to unceded Mohawk territory. The first people, and if you happen to be in the audience, he'll point you out. So he's been doing that off and on. And only recently I noticed he was starting to change his address. He wouldn't say Mohawk anymore because now other people were getting ticked off, mm -hmm. like Algonquins and mm -hmm. others, you know, they would like to claim that. It started there. And then when I saw the first La Presse article, a friend of mine from church, <clears throat> Brian McDonough, said, Christine, your council has to respond to this. Look what they're saying. And he said, there's going to be three others. So when I spoke to them, they said, as soon as we get the other three, they were coming out almost every week. And then we got the last, so we had all four now, but it took us a while to get all the points, like to take it apart. Mm -hmm. And they were in French, first of all. La Presse is a French daily, and this was their online discussion. We had to figure out what they were actually saying and how we thought that it was old stuff. It was all um, the kind of thing that makes us lose our right to the land. And that's what Quebec has been promoting, that we don't own this land because we're Johnny-come-lately. And so the historians have wanted to say that and have said it. And so that's what's getting out to Quebec. It makes them pretty well secure. So that's what's happening in the high schools. That's what happened on Thursday at University of Montreal. They had a conference there on the disappeared people. Mm. And I thought, so, wait till I call the rector of the University of Montreal. And we're going to have lunch and we're going to talk about this kind of promotion. Because what they're doing is they're using their curriculum to educate their students in a certain view, a certain perspective, which is wrong. We have to change that. So it's up to us to do that now. And if it's online, yeah. that it is, why the hell couldn't we have it all in there? And we were responding and they never bothered to call us and to say, who can we speak to on this issue? Right. Can they write us something? They never said that. Instead, they just made comments about the Mohawks of Ganawage. And I'll tell you, they certainly got us mad. Yeah. We wanted people to be aware of what's happening in schools, universities. We don't say it directly, but you can assume. And churches. The churches have been very up on the TRC, Truth and Reconciliation Commission. They've taken it to heart. They want to educate their parishioners. So all of this suddenly is going to be out there. So they will take that on. All of the schools in their curriculum, all of the high schools, all of the secondary, uh, sorry, the high schools and the elementary schools, all of these have to be aware of what's happening. And we have to be ready to go out and educate. You know, we got to have a group that's going to be doing this kind of education, whether it's at the universities or the high schools or the elementary schools. Mm. And we better go with sound and music. Mm. And we better go with our, our items and bring, bring our people so they understand where they are, who we are.